when trying to be attacked from head on, it's it's not likely anything's gonna hit. Uh, just as I say that, I get hit. Welcome gamers back to another best Leviathan creations. My name's Sub the Gamer and we're back. It's been a week since actually it's been a little bit longer than a week since we've sown the creations and there's a little bit of a mix up you could say. In this episode we have a few creations after the update that came out and a few creations that were created before the update came out. So it's kind of like a mix. It's probably the last time it's gonna be, you know, like pre updates. But the first one does involve the updates, uh, as, I mean, as you can see by the blades, and, of course, this, the harpoon. So, this here is known as Dragon's Teeth. Now, this here simply catches small boats in this and destroys them. That's more or less all it is. So, if you gamers enjoy this video, uh, and for any reason that might be, don't forget to smash that like button because I honestly quite enjoy creating videos like these and you gamers also seem to enjoy these videos quite a lot. So if you gamers enjoy them as much as I do, then why don't you like them and subscribe if you're new. So, as you can see gamers, this ship has not many cannons but more of a short range kind of, kind of thing. I mean, I think I just blew myself up. <laughs> I just blew, okay, I just blew that up. Never mind then. So, as you can see, this has doesn't have that many weapons, it's more of a short range, and of course, it's more of something that you do when you go front frontally. Uh, I mean, it's simply just to take out the enemy quickly, efficiently, and hopefully not get hit. As you can see, it's quite sleek, uh, that's simply due to the fact that it's not really meant to be hit, it's more of like, um, it's only really meant to be hit from the side, uh, and as a result of that, the weapons don't really... Hit, <laughs> hit them. Simple as that, really. So we're just going to spawn in an enemy here. Uh, let's go with this one here. Why not? So it spawned in. Uh, where did it spawn in, though? Okay, is that it? No, it's over there. All right. So as you can see, it spawned in, and I want to show you exactly how it is. I did turn on the motors. Uh, I'll turn them off now so they don't make a fapping noise. That's practically all it does. And as you can see, this boat is, is pretty big, I mean, compared to the picture and whatnot. So we're just going to quickly reverse turn here. Uh, and then we're going to turn again. Turn it on. Now, as you can see, the when when it does start attacking, it's going to be a little bit tricky to hit due to the fact that it's quick and it's also slim. Uh, and boom, look at that. We already took out like half of it. And it's... When trying to be attacked from head on, it's it's not likely anything's gonna hit. Uh, just as I say that, I get hit. <laughs> Great. All right, we are heading straight on. Hopefully, uh, of course, turning this thing is a lot more difficult than it looks. Oh, we're gonna miss that. We're gonna miss that. And we just flew right past it. All right, I'm I'm determined to take this out, gamers. I am determined. Uh, also, gamers, not to mention that. Due to the fact of the last update, the optimization of this game has improved dramatically, actually. Uh, despite it saying 10 FPS up there, it actually runs uh, at a much stabler FPS than 10. So, many thanks to the developers to, you know, having better FPS because that makes the game so much more enjoyable. It already is such an enjoyable game, but now this here makes it even more enjoyable. So, thank you, game uh, developers, for doing that. Now, let's see if we can spin this around and do this one more time. So we won't go too fast, just enough to to straighten up, really. Okay, here we go. Take two of attacking this ship. All right. It it is a it is a pretty good ship nonetheless, uh, and it's it it does tilt quite a bit. And learning how to steer it really is is a big is, is a challenge. It is an absolute challenge to figure out how to steer this thing. Uh, I did play a little bit of this off camera, and it was still a challenge. Come on, come on, come on, come on, spin, 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 spin. Let's see if we can turn fast enough to, I don't know, deal some damage, hopefully. I I can see it. Why aren't you firing? There we go. Now you're firing. Okay, we completely missed that. Okay, I would like to see if I can, you know, at least hit this thing. But it doesn't seem I can. Despite having a sharp turn radius, it still takes forever. 
All right, gamers, it, it is a little bit just tricky to control, but this was Dragon's Teeth. Now, let's go on to the next creation, shall we? All right, gamers, the very next creation is known as the Biplane Mark I. Now, this here took me quite some time to fiddle out or figure out how to use because it has it involves rockets, one of the new things in the updates. Now, what you have to do this, really, is you have to press Alt and then left click, and then you can see the buttons. Now, it took me absolutely forever to figure out how to do this and my game is really slow right now but here you can show, see all the controls and it took a little bit of a while to figure it out but i finally understood how to do it and let's set sail shall we now it's quite an interesting creation really oops i completely messed that up honestly because rockets don't work underwater so we're gonna surrender set sail and quickly launch the rockets which is with x now, what this will do is it'll let us shoot forward, practically, uh, allowing us to simply fly up straight, and then we're going to launch the rockets, if I can remember the button. Right, once we get to the top. Okay, we're going to have to decouple, as you can see here, gamers. And then we press left shift. This will launch us in rocket mode. And as you can see, gamers, we are flying. Now, it does take quite some time to figure out how to do it. But once you do, it's quite a fun experience. So here we go. We're doing a flip. Can we do a flip? Can we do a flip? We cannot do a flip. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, there we go. Now, let's see if we can control this in the correct manner. Okay, we just blew up. <laughs> let's do that again, shall we, gamers? So it does take quite a while to figure out. Okay, we need to redo that. All right, here we go, gamers. Let's see if we can do this again. Right, we're up. It does take a little bit of time to you know to really figure out how to make it work uh, i feel like the rocket is put on the at least the bottom rocket this one here this one here i feel like it's been put on wrongly i mean it, it kind of feels like it was put on uh, at a 90 degree angle so it's kind of everything's different than what it should be so we'll do this here we go we'll pull back okay no we'll pull forward there we go now i'd like to focus camera please bit difficult to focus camera especially when you've got no idea where the hell you are uh oh uh oh i feel like we're we're about to mess up here okay there we go there we go rotational forward backwards forward i don't know we're trying to fly this thing it does take quite some time to to learn really like i said we're approaching the skybox actually we are at the skybox and we've lost control okay <laughs> Let's try that one more time. I, f I feel like I'm... G I've... It's... I've... Nope. Okay. Yes. I, f I feel like I've gotten a little bit better at this than it than I was previously, really. Um, previously, it was a bit difficult to figure out. I don't know why I did that. It was a little bit difficult to figure out, but uh, now that I kind of have it under control and I somewhat know what to do, uh, I feel like... I, I wonder how you focus on a specific block kind of like in Besiege or something, uh, because honestly, following the rockets does not quite help much. All right, here we go. We're going to launch rockets. We're going to pull back. We're going to pull forwards. Don't know. I, I don't know if, if, if we're where we are right now. Okay. Now, this, this, is, the, this is the moment of shine, to shine. We're going to strafe. And, okay, no idea what happened, but I think we went too far, far up. One more time, gamers, and we're going to see if we can actually do this. Press shift right away, and pull back. Okay, that does not work. So, this here is the, um, the biplane Mark One. It does take a long time to actually figure out how to work, but once you do understand how it works, it is quite a fun little me mechanism. Uh, it did actually take me quite a long time to understand. So, this here is the biplane Mark One. Let's go on to the next creation. Now, following Dragon's Teeth, this is the Hammerhead. This does the similar precept as the Dragon Teeth, except in a much larger version. As you can see, when I do Q, which opens it up, 9, of course, spins it, and E closes... Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't open it all the way. So E opens it, and then Q closes it. Now, this is ex the exact same as Dragon's Teeth, except at a much larger scale. So, let's see we want to kill one of these fishies, which is what they are, practically. We just go up, slowly, it's a pretty big creation, we close it, 
well, it's nothing left of it anyway. And then we open it up, and of course we let it let go of what's left, which isn't much. So we're gonna spawn in an enemy, an enemy. Uh, let's go with uh, this one. Yes, we're gonna spawn in probably the biggest ship you can spawn in as an enemy. Okay, now that I look of it, it's quite small. I feel like I chose the wrong one. But we're gonna open it up. Um, we got a little, we got a little bit of teeth. Uh, we, <laughs> a little bit of teeth. Duh. We have a... Uh, what? <laughs> okay, our enemy just exploded. Uh, let's go with this one then. Okay, here we go. I don't think the names are quite done right, developers. Uh, I feel like the, the names are different. Okay, here we go. We're spinning it. We're gonna go in. And we're gonna close. Close. Close, 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 close. FPS just dropped, but that's also because we're just destroying something. We're gonna reverse, or attempt to reverse. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. We're just absolutely eating this guy up. Okay, this is much bigger, and it's got a lot of cannons, and it's coming right at us. So let's see if we can take him out quickly. Ooh, he just... Ooh, oof, 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 oof. Ouch. Ouch. He completely blew us out. Alright, we're gonna have to do that as part two again. Part two, gamers, because I'm determined to take this guy out. We did chisel him a little bit, but not enough. We need to seriously take this guy out. Uh, we're gonna open it up. Uh, it does make us a bigger enemy, but that's something we have to, to deal with, really. Uh, let's see if we can dodge all of the braid of artillery that he's shooting at us. And we're gonna come in. Ah, uh, he blew us up just too late you're lucky you're lucky my friend you keep blowing us up too early oh we need to find a way to just take him out because he's got a lot of long-range weapons so i don't know i think the best thing to do is just to keep this closed uh, for now and then of course once we get a little bit closer we'll open it up and or if it's still there open it up and take him out because i feel like that's probably the best option we have let's open it up quickly press nine I am determined to take this guy out. It's the last thing I do. Boom. We swing around. And we're eating him up. There we go. Perfect. Perfect example of it working. And look at that. And he also blew us up. <laughs> it's a win. It's a lose-lose with this guy. But let's let's see if we can... Okay, we, we, it's a bit late now. But that was the... Uh, <laughs> it's freaking out. That was the Hammerhead Gamers. A fun little thing for perfect for situations similar to that one, except a little bit different. The next two gamers are based on real life animals. This one here is known as the Manta, and it is an absolutely amazing looking boat. I think this is probably my utmost favorite one of this week. Now, I did spawn it in in a little bit of a bizarre position, so hopefully we don't break anything off. I don't think we did break anything off. Okay, we did. Let's dock that again, and we'll try again, because Practically what happens gamers is once you get to a certain speed you will dive under similar to the submarine that we did last week So I believe that in between the half uh, is the perfect speed where you are just above the water and you don't quite go under now it turns Amazingly and unfortunately it doesn't turn like a real manta, you know where it turns like banking But it is still a nonetheless an amazing creature. Uh, we'll see if we can go underwater and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like underwater it's, it's like a submarine. It just goes down slowly. It's pretty cool. At least at foot does uh, Of course it will hit the bottom eventually since it is going down So we're just gonna bring it up to about half now this will okay half will bring it up to the surface I don't quite know. I think I think right here. Okay, so nine knots. Okay, ten knots I know but there's a specific amount of knots that once you get uh, yeah, once you get to that knot, you will stay underwater. So we'll go down to 11, which was forcing us down, and we'll go back up to 10. Now, hopefully this here will allow us to float gracefully like a manta ray. There we go. I don't want to quite crash it just yet. It does take a little bit of controlling and getting used to to figure out, but this is the manta ray. There's no weapons, nothing whatsoever. It is simply just to be as grateful, graceful as possible. We did hit the invisible wall. Actually, no, we went in reverse. How good is it in reverse, actually? I've never tried it. But this is a, nonetheless a magnificent creature, uh, both in real life and in game. Of course, it's not quite real, but it is still an amazing creation. So I hope you gamers enjoyed this one. Now let's go to the final creation of this week. 
Now I want to finish this episode, gamers, on a funny note. This here is known as the ducky. Why? No idea. Because it is. <laughs> That's really all it is. This is the ducky. It's probably the smallest creation. It is the smallest creation I've ever done so far. And it simply has three cannons, not really meant to fight. It's just meant to be a funny little thing, probably just to finish off an episode like we're doing today. So, as you can see, gamers, it is... It goes at nine. It goes about goes relatively slow. I mean, compared to anything, it does have three cannons. Of course, these cannons are cannons, and it has very little defense, if any. So it is simply there just to look good. So I'm gonna have to wrap up the video here, gamers. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe because it was an absolute. It was quite a fun episode this time. I do apologize for some of the mistakes I did make in this video. For example, I showed you my hotbar and whatnot, and I clicked off the screen. But of course, I'm gonna try to edit out everything. But this is a little ducky, and I hope you gamers enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And of, of course, if you're new, let me know in the comment section below if you want to see anything else. Of course, I'm going to be doing this twice a week now, uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. And of course, I have something a little bit special to plan for Saturday. So, if you gamers have any of your creations, just upload them to the Steam Workshop, and I'll check them out. Just add a little bit of description and a cool picture, and I'll make sure to check it out. So, hope you gamers enjoyed, and I'll see you in the very next video. Goodbye, and don't forget gamers to keep on gaming.